Hello everyone, this is Anna from Our Paper Paradise and today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, two kinds of autumn leaves. We are going to start with the smaller version and then we will create the bigger version. We are going to start, like I said, with the smaller leaf and for that you need the smaller pack of strips and the smaller template <clears throat> in your kit. Just put that aside for now. Go ahead and slide strips out of its, its binding piece. Set the brown one aside for later. And we're just going to start curling the strips into loose coils. And we're going to use this little guy as a template for the size we want them in. To create a loose coil, what we are going to do is, uh, the quilling tool has a slot in it. So we are going to grab one strip. It doesn't matter what color it is because they're all going to be shaped the same way. So just grab one strip, slide the strip into the slot on the tool, and then you're going to start curling. You can curl it away from you, which is how I prefer it, but you can also curl it towards you if that's easier for you. It doesn't matter for the final result. I notice how I'm kind of holding the strip. It's more like guiding. I'm not holding it tightly. So I'm just making sure it flows between my fingers. And this finger is just supporting the coil as it forms. And I just roll it like that. You roll it until the end. Then you're going to take it off your tool, grab your template, and we're going to let this one open up until it's the same size of the template. Sometimes if you put too much uh, tension on your strip, so let me explain that. If you hold the strip too tight as you are curling, it will be harder for it to expand to the same size as that. So what we can do is just curl all the strips and then just let them sit there for a while and then in the end we'll glue the end. That's what I'll do with this. I'll just curl them all. It's always the same process. So just slide it in, start curling until you have it all curled and then let it go. As you can see, some have expanded a lot more than others. And even though this is uh, the same kind of paper, it's all cardstock, and I usually do the same kind of pressure on my on my curling, uh, it depends a lot on the properties of the paper itself. So some of them will open more, some of them won't open as much. But that's okay because you can always go in and kind of help them along to the size you need. Or if you have a needle, you can hold the center and kind of jiggle the rest around. Once you have that done, we're going to glue them all to this size. So this one is bigger, as you can see. So we are just going to pull it tight a little bit. Just if you hold the center and pull the tab, it will curl again. And then we're going to let it expand until it matches the other one. So I'm using my fingers to feel if there's a gap between these two. When I don't feel any gap, then that's the size I want. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. And I'm just going to repeat the same with all of them. I might be thinking, oh, that is not a perfect coil at all. No, it's not, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be shaping it into this shape. 
and by that time you get to the end of it, it won't matter how it started. All right, let's get to shaping. So we are going to take any of these guys, they're all going to be shaped the same way. I always try to put the seam of the paper in one of these edges when I fold it, just so it's hidden and nice, but it really has no other purpose. So I'm just going to hold the center and squeeze one of the sides. Then I'm going to hold the center and kind of push everything the other side and squeeze again. And once I have this eye shape, I hold both sides and give it a slight twist to create a nest shape. I'm going to do it again. Now we're going to take this strip, we're going to fold it in half, but we're not going to fold the end of it. We're going to leave a little loop there. And then we are going to put glue on one of the sides, not all the way to the where it would bend, but making sure I have enough room for the loop there. And then we're just going to glue the two halves together. Again, this is not measured or anything. It's just so you have a little gap there that you, you can slide a string through it and hang this somewhere else. Okay, got that. Then I'm going to grab my quilling tool and with the handle of it, I'm going to run it through the strip with my thumb kind of pressuring. It's just like curling ribbon. I'm just giving it a slight twist. So it kind of match matches the twist on the leaves. Once you have that, we are going to start organizing the leaf around here got some decisions to make. I usually like to put the darker tones on the top here. So I'm going to make sure to put those up there. Again, I'm going to use where the seam of the paper is and put it against the stem so it's hidden. And now these ones we can arrange as we like. If you want to put the two the same that are the same color together, you can do that and just do that, or you can mix and match them. I like them mix and match like this guy here. So once I mix and match them, I just have to make sure there's no two that are going to be together. I think that is a good distribution. So now that we have this, we have to kind of put these guys together and really shape them so they flow with each other. Don't be afraid to squish your paper. See, this one, they fit together like this, but I don't want a leaf that is that asymmetrical, so I'm gonna kind of, so I'm gonna push them so they're matching more closely from end to end. Same with these guys. Some of these will be easier because they're closer to what you need than others. Okay, once you have that, we're going to take the centerpiece and we're going to glue it right to one of these guys.
you might have to hold it a little while until it, the glue all sticks together. Since we're molding these things to each other, it might take a little while. Got that one. Now we're going to glue these guys together. I'm bending this side a little more because that's what's going to be against there. So I'm kind of anticipating where I'm going to put it. Now we glue these two together. Same thing, I'm kind of bending that upwards so it dries like that and it makes it easier on me to glue it down afterwards. If you have little dots of glue coming up, just swipe it with your finger. Okay, now that we have all that, we just need to glue the tiny little side leaves to the stem. Putting some glue on there and bringing it against a little more glue. Don't be afraid of it. I want to make sure this is touching and it's all really well uh, glued together. So I'm going to hold it for a little bit. You can also put the glue on the stem and then bring the leaf against it. Granted that would be might be a little more of a mess. All you have to do is hold it until it's dry. Be careful where you're gluing this on so you don't get glue on your surfaces. Now this one, it's going to glue against the stem and against the bump there. So I'm just going to put some glue on here and on here. It's going to go right there. Same with this one. On the edge there and on this bump. And it's going to go right there. And once this is all dry, you can go in and scrape any bits of glue that I've dried on the surface. That's it, that's your first leaf. Pretty easy, huh? Okay, now on to the second leaf. It looks like a lot, but really it's a lot of the same that you have already made. So you can take off your other pack of strips. There are three red ones. You're going to put them to the side for now. And with the other ones, okay, let me check. No, no, no. There are four that are a lighter yellow. You want to put those to the side as well. The rest of them, we are going to do the same as we did before with the smaller template. We're just going to do uh, loose coils using the smaller tape template as a guide.
the lighter yellow ones we are going to glue them end to end so we're just making a longer strip essentially just put a little bit of glue there and then glue them to each other usually I do like a quarter inch overlap same thing with the other one and I'm gonna let them dry make sure they are aligned so that you don't get a skewed strip and then I'm gonna let them dry while I size these guys up same process just use the template grab your coil and kind of you can always instead of doing this and making it smaller you can always just kind of push it with your fingers and it will conform to the size just be gentle you don't need to squeeze it too soon <laughs> Okay, those are all done. We're gonna work on the big ones. The big ones is the same exact thing, only we'll be using the larger template to measure them by. So we're gonna start by uh, inserting the strip on the twilling coal and curling again till the end. Right, now we have all the pieces we can start shaping and this is really the point where you can decide what you're going to do with these pieces because they're all the same size so how you arrangement arrange them to make this leaf uh, it's really up to you since I'm go I have these guys and they're going to be the big ones on top I decided to arrange this sort of from dark red from dark red to light yellow so I'm just gonna lay them out like that so this is more or less the arrangement we're going to be doing and for these big guys the shapes we're going to create are exactly like the ones we created for this. So we start with them. Um, and since these are so big, I really like to do one side first and then the other. Instead of the two at the same time. So we start like that and then give it a little twist. And we'll get to these guys later. Same with the other one. Squeeze one side, squeeze the other, and twist. These guys we're gonna are going to be a little different because as you can see here, they're more straight. So basically we're gonna do the eye shape for all of them. And then once we start gluing them together, we're going to reshape them a little bit. Now that we have the shapes, let's not mix things up so I don't get different colors mixed together. We are going to start gluing things together. I'm going to take the top bottom ones 
I'm going to put some glue on one side and then I'm just going to squeeze them together like we did for the other guys. Only this time we're not twisting the ends, we're just making a bigger version of an eye with two of them together. We're going to do this with this guy. Then we're going to grab one of the red strips. We're going to fold it in half. We are going to put some glue. I'm putting it all on one side and then on the other side I'll only put it like a little bit ways off because we are going to wrap it around these two guys that we just glued together and then glue the rest of the strip together. Make sure it's aligned. Everything is fitting in place. And there you go. This is our first base. Now we're going to take the next two shapes and they will have to kind of fit around the sky. So I'm using what we have already created and kind of shaping them around it. Like I said before, don't be afraid to really push the shapes. The other guy on the other side, same thing. And we just put some glue on there. And we're going to hold it in place. I'm also pressing it out, down now and then just to make sure everything is leveled. Next one, it's the darker orange one. Same thing, go a little further up and kind of wrap around this guy. Okay, so we have the center piece right there. Now we are going to make the side pieces, which are basically the same exact thing, only with different colors. Let's start with these guys. Just And I know sometimes it's hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm just holding things in place. It's the, the hard side about this is I have to have my hands in your way to do what I need to do. The other side now, I'm going to take these guys, same process. Since we know that this is going to bend that way, it really does help if you just do it as you are gluing things down. Okay, we have our shapes pretty much done. Now we have to glue the side shapes to the rest of it. And to do that, we're going to put some glue on here. And extend it there a little bit and you really have to be patient with patient with this because um, 
you are forcing things into place. So it's going to take a little bit to really stick before you can let it go. But everything in curling is patient, so you are just practicing that. Making sure everything is flat. These all are going to be glued together to create the stem, so that's why I put a line of glue there. Okay, the other side. The last part of it are going to be these guys that are going to be just like those coming in there. So we're going to put some glue on the edge there and on this little bump so they could where they should. There we are. Same on this side. And there we are. So once everything is glued down, you can always keep shaping it a little bit. Be, be gentle though, because we don't want things to unstick before they, are, they have time to dry. So if you want, let it all dry and then you can shape it a little better. But this is pretty much the leaf. What I do in the end is I make sure this is all glued together. I trim a little bit of it and then I fold the rest over and glue there to make a loop like you see in the photo. That way you can hang this, this leaf wherever you want. And that is pretty much the class for today. Of course, you can use whatever colors you want. You can make it even in green, um, all yellows, all oranges, all reds, up to you. Mix and match. Have some fun. Do share your results with me on the comments or on my page. And if you have any questions at all, please reach out, leave a comment, send me a message. I'm here to help. I hope you enjoy the class. Thank you. See you next time.